This is a Honda EU 6500 IS generator. It's giving us some trouble. Whenever we start it, a couple seconds later, it shuts down with an overload alarm. This overload alarm is an indicator that the inverter has gone bad. We're lucky here that we have several of these 6500s so we can swap the parts between the two and isolate the problem. To replace the inverter, you only need a 10 millimeter and a 12 millimeter socket. To get to the inverter, we need to remove this panel. On either side, there's a 10 millimeter screw, a 12 millimeter screw, and then 10 millimeter nuts. The inverter is held in by two screws. There's one here and one here. You'll need an extension, and I'm using a deep just to give me a little more reach, but you don't need a deep socket. Disconnect all the electrical connectors. There's some on the back of the inverter. This is the inverter. You cannot service this. It's all or nothing. Even if one of these little guys pops, you have to replace the whole thing because the circuit board's been potted. The new inverter won't come with these bushings and grommets, so you'll need to harvest them off the old inverter. Here's the new inverter. We're going to put the bushings and the grommets in, connect our electrical connections, and bolt it back in. The inverter has three pins that need to go into grommets. The screws that hold the handle on have two washers, a thin washer and a thick washer. You want the thin washer facing the generator. And our overload problem is fixed. This is a very easy job. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Have a great day.